Hi, everybody, and welcome to Be in the Know, Ask the Bee Man edition. I'm the Bee Man, Benny Mancino, and I'm here with my lovely co host, Angela Lyman. Angela, welcome back to Be in the Know, Ask the Bee Man. Hi, Bee Man. Thanks for having me back. It's always great to get in here and pick your brain and hear your thoughts on these topics. Okay, so to, tonight, today, this afternoon, whatever it is, uh, I have no idea where this question was secretly held. And I, I guess you do. So I, you're going to tell tell us, the viewers, where where this secret envelope with the question was held until you uh, was delivered to you by our favorite uh, uh, auditor group of Anderson and Anderson. Well, it was deep in the dark recesses of the most jungly jungle you can possibly imagine. My house plants. Really? Yeah. yeah. Someone had managed to sneak, and I, you guys know I'm great with animals. I'm terrible with plants. I mean, it's just an overgrown swamp. So uh, yeah, somebody managed to sneak in there somewhere between the ficus and the aloe plants and magic. Did it get wet? Is it wet? Can you read it? Well, I can still read it. So okay. if you're ready, I will give you this one. All right, go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm can't wait. All right. E man, you preach time and motion. My boss ignores these conversations and my suggestions. What do I do? Oh, man. Okay, other than get a new boss. Okay, oh. now I'll let Benny actually answer the question. Yeah, you got to come work for me because I do believe okay. in time and motion. Well, you know what? You know, anytime at, uh, uh, you gotta be, you gotta tread lightly. You really do. But I might bring up in the conversation that, you know, a lot of people, uh, really didn't understand the power of, uh, time and motion until we hit the pandemic. Right. So now we got, we got the pandemic and we got the shields up on the table and most jurisdictions limited players to three on a game or four on a game at the most. Right. And uh, of course, uh, there's places where there would never been a twenty five dollar minimum game in the world. They'd always been five and ten and now they're twenty five. Mm -hmm. And still the finance people all, you know, budgeted that the, the revenues were going to be much less. Well, to everybody's surprise, oh, surprise, the 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 revenues were gigantic. You know, they were making more money in table games with three players betting $25 than they had ever uh, made with 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 tables with seven players betting $10. Well, shock of shocks. Well, that proves right there the power of time and motion. More rounds with uh, more money is going to create more Theo, and Theo is realistic win, and at some point in time, the numbers bear out. You know, you can get beat one night and not get beat. But in the long run, whatever amount of money you put through, you're you're going to hold whatever your house advantage is, where you got a six to five game or a three to two game or whatever, you're going to hold that percentage on, on that money. So the faster you move the game, the better, right? So I mean, you can you can do this simply by if you know you can get you an Excel spreadsheet and show your boss. And show them, you know, the average bet, the rounds per hour, and the house advantage. And then just move the amount of rounds per hour and show them the outcome of the Theo. It's it, it's 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 not it's not rocket science. It, it's 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 just the the truth. And uh, you know, once somebody really sees it on paper, it's hard then to deny. Then now now you know it. You know what I mean? It's like it's like if you open a Bible and now you know the truth, well, that, now you know it. You know, you could have, it, what you do after that point in time is your business, but at least you know it. So uh, that's probably how I would I would approach it some way like that. I say, hey, you know, by the way, you know, it was kind of proven during the pandemic and, you know, take the soft approach. But there's some people out there that learned this. They learned this during the pandemic that, uh, time and motion mattered. And uh, now they went right back to doing the same old stuff yeah. they did before. You know, they're, they're, they're lowering the, uh, the minimums. There's a total disregard to uh, utilization based on volume. And now you got seven people playing $10 when you could have three players playing $25. You know, that's, 
that's just the way the math works. Time and motion is where it's at. And also, I would recommend that maybe you maybe get a copy of Bill Zender's uh, Casinoology One or Two, and and give it to uh, your boss as a gift, because in there you'll you'll get a clear explanation of the very importance of time and motion and a lot of other things that uh, maybe your boss should should know about and maybe give it to him for the, his birthday. Or whatever, but I, I tell you what, I love the question. I love your uh, your desire to uh, to uh, help your property, and you're going to make it. You're going to make it. You're going to you're going you're going to be sitting in my chair someday, and I I can't can't wait to see that. And if you have any more questions, and really this this one kind of came half anonymous, so I'm really not quite sure who this is. But you know what? You you got me on LinkedIn and uh, you you can send it back through there. Don't send it to the email like you did this time, but send send me a message. Let me know who you are and uh, you know if, if there's some way the B man can help you, the I'll do it. Okay, so that that's it, Angela. What do you, what do you think? Well, I think right there that last bit you said is actually a really important kind of codicil on the whole answer that you gave, and that is okay. Maybe your boss is just a bonehead. Maybe your boss has given up. But there's a heck of a lot of people in this industry who do still care about the industry and who will care about your career development and your personal development, i.e. somebody like Benny. Mm -hmm. So find someone else. So, and I mean, I hate to say, yes, try with your boss. Absolutely. And you know what? If that's just not going to be the person, then that's not the person. Don't give up. Like, just that would be a big thing. But find somebody. And, you know, you found a great way in right here. But even maybe more locally, maybe talk to just a different shift manager or it's just someone else in those positions in your casino because somebody will care. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you get the knowledge later on, you get the chance, pay it forward. That, that, that's Absolutely. all, that's all you, you got to expect in life. You got to leave something behind because, you know, you're not going to take much with you. Uh, you know, that's it. I, I got, I, I had another uh, story I could have told, but I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to cut it short. I, I, I think, I think the story that I would tell may have too many clues of who I'm talking about, so I'm not going to tell the story. But it's another similar story to yours, and uh, you just know you're not alone. So if you need you need help, you need me to, uh, I'll, I'll be glad to answer any other questions. But please, uh, don't send me one two three four at gmail dot com again because <laughs> I, I I I don't uh, you know I, I don't mentor. Uh, uh, anonymous people. I just don't know that. So, Angela, thank you again for joining yeah. us and keeping that uh, question so well sealed in your planner. And uh, we'll uh, we'll catch you on the next Ask the Bee Man. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. This these these play on LinkedIn. And smash that like button, right? I think that's what you're supposed to say. I think that's okay. what you should say. We'll right? see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks.